uh, as a first tutorial because it is not a actual uh, not actual part of this course it is just coming as a what we call it pre Recap or prerequisite kind of thing, so that's why I term it as a tutorial. So this uh, this here we'll discuss in detail uh, how what is principle of counting and how it is uh, playing a very important role in order to compute probability. So that concept we will see in detail here. So coming to outline of today's lecture, first I would like to discuss about uh, basic principle of counting. I just left here basic word. So basic principle counting and after that we will talk about uh, a little bit more complicated kind of principle counting and that would be based on random sampling generally we call it a random sampling uh, approach that means uh, uh, random sampling simply it is happening that uh, here just we apply uh, uniform law and what is happening that in sample space we are applying in discrete sample space you we are applying uniform law so that is the random sampling if you try to talk from uh, that uh, probability law perspective so you, there is a uniform law at their uh, our discrete sample space discrete sample space so we'll see in detail how it is and how we understand the random sampling from the perspective of counting principle we will see it here in detail afterward i will talk uh, uh, various other things so even uh, in next lecture onward we will start conditional probability so before that we will try to calculate the probability with the help of the principal counting those things we will discuss here in detail okay and other things we will discuss in next class so coming to counting principle first i would like to talk about what is the motivation behind to uh, understand principle of counting in detail so here motivation is directly coming in the process of uh, computing probability how huh? so the computation of probability generally in discrete probability or simply i as i mentioned that discrete probability that means your sample space is a discrete set sample space it is a discrete sample set or simply i would like to mention that discrete sample space so here just discrete sample of space that is the meaning of uh, discrete probability so the computational probability in, uh, during the process of uh, discrete sample of space it often involves counting of numbers of outcome in various events so we just have to count the number of uh, outcomes uh, uh, in that uh, event by zooming it okay so that uh, formula i had already mentioned that what does it so in discrete probability the uniform law generally uh, what is happening that uh, in the process of uh, uniform law when you apply uh, then sample space is having a finite number of equally likely outcomes okay so and hence the probability measure of uh, any kind of event we can write as a fraction uh, that means or a ratio of uh, uh, no, number of outcome in the sample divided by all possible outcome when you are talking about uh, number of outcome in a sample space that simply signify that all number of all possible outcome and here this is but it is already you might be aware of that what does it mean because a sample space is meant for collection of all possible outcome and when you talk about uh, this numerator it is talking about just you are trying to zoom out uh, your event and you try to look into um, uh, that event what are the outcomes how many outcomes are there so that that is the meaning of uh, our number of outcome in a that means within a just you try to see what are the outcomes of the uh, experiment uh, present there okay so that we see here this one is the number of all possible outcome so here simply you can say that uh, these are counting principle we are counting the numbers generally we are counting the uh, outcomes number of outcomes here we are counting so what is happening that so when we compute the probability of an event with a finite number of equally likely outcomes so each outcome is having a already a non non probability so this non probability you can say that it might be a probability of success it is a probability of success uh, sometimes you can term it, it is a probability of success we will term during distribution uh, generally it is very much essential to discuss about what what would be the probability of success and it may come as a parameter of the distribution probability of success 
it is directly dealing with outcome each individual outcome so if suppose if i am tossing a coin tell me what would be probability of success anyone toss a coin what would be value of p yes yeah very nice it is 1 by 2 why if you try to look into the sample space of the, this uh, experiment there would be only two event two outcomes so there would be only two outcome head and tail and there are only two outcome that's why applying the axioms of probability measure from there we can easily find that probability of head equal to 1 by 2 also that one is also equal to probability of tail anyone know about uh, multinomial situation anyone okay i will talk uh, talk that uh, there are two situations one is binomial another one multinomial binomial when we say that there are only two possibilities uh, with respect to each experiment then we say that uh, there is a binomial situation one is failure another one is uh, success generally we term that as a Bernoulli trial and when uh, in a single trial there are more than two possibilities then you can say that uh, uh, it would be uh, what uh, multinomial like if i talk about if you are opting a course then what are the possibility of getting grade what kind of grade you are getting i think everyone might be aware of that grading system uh, possible grade here in this uh, institute what are the possible grade anyone What are the possible grade I am just talking about? First, uh, that uh, first one is the best one is A, then A minus, then B, sorry, A minus, B, B minus, C, uh, C minus, D, and F also waiting sometime you may observe. So these are the possible grade. So if you someone is taking a course and uh, someone is taking a course, that means uh, oh, what are the possible outcome would be there regarding that uh, um, experiment? These these are the so simply uh, there is not only one possibility. Various possibilities are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, uh, you can just hide this one. There is no issue. There is no issue. Just uh, so you can say that there are 8 possibilities. So, 8 is uh, with, with a single. If you are going to complete a course, then uh, with respect to that, there are 8 possibilities. 8 possibilities are coming with respect to a single trial. Eight possibilities are there so it is simply multinomial in nature it is not binomial in nature so what is happening that if you're trying to find probability of oh, all these what will happen what will happen someone is getting a grade what does it mean that probability would be one uh, probability of getting a would be one and probability of getting other grade would be what if someone is getting grade a what would be probability of getting other grade zero by default it will be zero it would be zero so here probability vector is coming here there is a really interesting distribution probability vector would come one zero 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 this kind and what you do if you sum up the entries sum would be always one so this generally we are calling it probability vector in case of multinomial we are getting probability vector but in binomial situation just we are getting probability of success uh, in multinomial and it is always not if you just try to estimate things then it would be not exactly one if you go for estimation technique it may be less than 
one point nine or something like that, and other may have uh, little bit point one, point two, zero one point other kind of things, other entries may have. So that possibility in case of uh, approximation concept. Later we will try to signify that uh, point uh, nine is very much near to one. So if you do hard sorting, no hard sorry hard. There are two kind of uh, uh, approach to uh, so find maximum. One is hard uh, hard way, and another one is a soft way. So if you uh, go for hard max, then uh, 0.9 will be converted into uh, one, and the rest of the 0.1 would be converted to, into zero, or 0.001 would be converted to zero. That is the approach. Later I will talk later whenever there would be a uh, estimation. Kind of things. That time I will talk about the hard max and soft max. Okay, so that is the approach here. It is coming like that. So definitely, I told that uh, principle of counting is playing very important role in discrete probability in order to compute the probability of a event uh, via outcomes through probability. So that's why. So zoom out the event and look what are the uh, how many outcomes are there. So definitely, each outcome would have um, find the probability of uh, each outcome due to equally likely each outcome will have the uh, same probability of success. Each outcome will have same due to equally likely situation, and we have to multiply that probability of success with the number of outcomes. How many times outcome? So uh, how, how many outcomes are there in the uh, what uh, event uh, we are looking for? Okay, that is the approach, and this way we calculate probability of a. Uh, An event. Okay. So first, simplest one is uh, in principle of counting is addition rule, or you can call it sum rule. So anyone could highlight how uh, addition rule is uh, defined and how we are just going through addition rule. What is the addition rule? Probably in uh, algebra in plus two you might have already gone through. What is addition rule? When you apply addition rule. Anyone? What is meaning of addition rule? Okay, no answer. Then just I am defining. So suppose we have to perform an experiment, and in order to perform that experiment, uh, we are having r number of options. And if you perform that experiment with any one option, our job is done. And further, what is happening that each option can have. Uh, n k possible outcomes each option may have n k k is talking about uh, uh, options first option second option so if you go for first option then n one possibility would be there in order to perform that experiment if you go for you choose second path there would be uh, n two possibilities and likewise uh, that way, that is the approach that So likewise, uh, if you want to reach uh, from Hubli to Bangalore, then what is happening? That how many path you observe? How many path you observe? There are simply three: by road, by air, or by train. Three options. If you choose any of the, these three, definitely you will arrive at Bangalore from Hubli. Okay. Now it depends upon the path. If you uh, take this path, okay, uh, this call it road. Okay, this call it railway. And you can call it air. These are the feasible means of transport transportation through which you can arrive. Uh, you can uh, go from Hubli to Bangalore. These are these are the possible. So you have to account for. How many possible? So, in how many way? How many outcomes uh, uh, involved with road? This option. How many possibilities are there for this uh, possible 
uh, way through road, road you can go. How many possibilities would be there? Anyone? One by three. I am not asking for probability. I am counting the number of ways. How many ways you can go from three ways? What are those? So that I told that uh, there are three ways. Very simple option. That means if you are saying that three ways to reach from Hubli to uh, Bangalore, then what does it mean? Simply it says that uh, uh, you are have you are having only one option uh, via road. You are having only one option via train. You are having only one option via air. And you are summing one plus one plus one equal to three. There are three options over three way. So that is new. But if you just go and watch uh, observe road, how many buses you can see? Buses. There there might be bus. There might be uh, four wheeler, uh, personal or another kind of four wheeler. Various options would be there. So that uh, that I would like to highlight that. So uh, here uh, experiment is that you are just uh, traveling from Hubli to uh, Bangalore. That one is in a single experiment. It is a single experiment. That means uh, you are traveling from Hubli to uh, Bangalore. So H for Hubli and B for Bangalore. And now uh, just you will look for options. So after that, once you are just uh, trying to perform an experiment, you look for options. What are the options to travel from uh, Hubli to Bangalore? So you are having three options. Also here simply you will mention that R equal to three. There are three options. After that, you have to look for uh, each option is, is uh, may have various various possibility or various outcome. What are those outcome? So if you opt for road, then bus may be there, two wheeler be there, may be there, four wheeler may be there. Various means through that road you can observe two wheeler, four wheeler. So various options are there. Are you able to understand or not? So this is the approach two wheelers w uh, even three wheelers uh, that one is a little bit odd uh, four wheelers generally you can talk four wheelers so various possibilities if you go by a railway there are various trains not a single train you will have various trains so so again you can say that uh, this uh, way of this mode of transformation uh, transportation you can perform in n wage n1 wage or there are n1 outcomes n1 possibility likewise if you go for uh, railway option then again there would be this one is second option so you will have n2 possibility because there are various trains in different different time various trains okay which one is the best option? Anyone from Hubli to Bangalore? Which one is the uh, so most suitable train? Any idea? No. What? I could not listen it. Unable, uh, unable to listen. Actually, uh, I find that yes. Okay, nice, very nice. It it might be in the morning, but uh, there is one more. Of evening. Uh, I find Jan Satabdi is the better one. Many time I use. And uh, uh, if you talk about air option, that's this path again. This one is the third option. There would be and and three ways to perform uh, this mode of transportation so again if you talk about uh, air uh, what kind of airlines uh, providing service from hubli to bangalore simplest one is air india everyone might uh, might have idea then you can talk about indigo indigo is there then you, you can talk talk about uh, star airways there are various options so you can say simply and simply you can say i'm just trying to uh, count uh, the wage so uh, n3 equal to uh, 3 so generally uh, 
three you will see that here and maybe four uh, depends upon i have, i mean might not have exact idea and if you talk, talk about uh, railway so always it would be a finite number so suppose 10 trains would be there frequently or maybe more than that okay. and if you talk about road definitely it would be more number maybe 100 and 100 so tell me in how many ways what are the total number of ways that you can perform the journey from uh, Hubli to Bangalore. What are the total number? One, one, thirty. Yeah, one, one, three. Yeah, one and third. So this n is equal to one, one, three. So it is an outcome of uh, addition principle or some rule. So that's why we say that there are actually total of n one plus n two plus up to nr possible outcome to perform the experiment in r option and one more thing what you observe that here you will observe when you perform some rule and if you try to talk from a more a structured way then you will see that there is only one layer there would be only one layer so you are going from here one layer like this way there is one only one layer so you can say that final point will be Bangalore uh, anyhow so here from Hubli you are starting so you are getting only one layer so that is the approach in our option so uh, if you take any one of the option your job is done fulfilled there is no issue but you have to count all the possible options so what are those what are oh, sorry all the possible uh, outcomes or possibilities so that that would be uh, total number of counts so that uh, we have to count so it would be given by this so suppose a question i am taking it here this one is definitely more simpler than the previous one suppose that you are in a restaurant and are going to have either soup or salad but not both at the same time so there are two soups and four salad on the menu so how many choices uh, you will have so you go like this way, you opt for salad or soup. So just you can see that there is a single layer of information. Either you will go for soup or you go for salad. So you have to look soup in how many, what are the, uh, uh, what are uh, possible soup may be possible. So there are two, only two soup and there are uh, four salad. So that's where, uh, how many options you will have? 2 plus 4 that means 6 option 6 choices you will have this one is simple addition rule is coming that means when you are going to select a, a <coughs> snack you can call it soup and salad happens to be snacks or uh, something like that you, uh, which will be in term of soup or salad then you will have 6 options 6 choices so uh, simply uh, this uh, sum rule is already over i will talk about uh, uh, multiplication rule so it would be multiplication rule not addition rule so what is multiplication rule if uh, uh, what is happening that it is coming like this way suppose we are having to perform our experiment remember that we are performing our experiment such that kth experiment is happening in nk ways we are performing our experiment first layer of experiment then second layer of experiment then third layer of experiment likewise r layer of experiment first layer second layer third layer so what we observe here fourth layer and r layer of experiment then total number of possible outcome would be what a first layer of uh, this experiment it is happening in n1 wage second layer of in experiment is happening n2 ways third layer of experiment is happening n3 ways fourth layer of experiment is happening n4 ways likewise r layer of experiment is happening uh, n r ways so how you can you can see that uh, this one is a what uh, there is a proper link there is a proper link if uh, your experiment that one is performed by 
R number of ex sub experiment you can call it R number of sub experiment uh, and that happens in a proper sequential order then uh, what is happening that how what are the total number of possible ways of getting outcome what are the possible outcome possible outcome just we have to multiply uh, all these n1 n2 n3 up to n r then this would be a total possible outcome it would be total possible outcome so like uh, i am asking that uh, suppose uh, uh, you want to uh, take a journey uh, from uh, hubli to delhi and suppose there is a there is uh, there is no direct uh, direct uh, what we call transport mode of transport from hubli to delhi suppose it, it may possible so you need a junction in between you need a junction so you start from hubli to uh, bangalore then bangalore to delhi so definitely what is happening that hubli to bangalore and then bangalore to delhi there are various possibility there is also alternative way hubli to bombay you can go like hubli to bombay okay let me i will come another with simple example so here so suppose you visit a coffee uh, house in that coffee uh, house a coffee has three types dark roast light roast or decaf so you can order your coffee in a small or large cup first layer of information is types of coffee there would be three types of coffee dark roast light roast uh, and decaf afterward uh, you you are having second layer of information that say that uh, you can order coffee either in a small cup or large cup then how many ways you can order your coffee so here simply layer wise information is coming so if you talk about overall experiment here it is happening uh, in a sequence of two experiment first this one is coming as a first uh, layer of information this one is coming as second layer of information copy in a large or small so always sequencing are you able to see the sequencing anyone yeah so sequencing is playing very important role in the some role there was no sequencing but here in uh, addition multiplication rule we observe a sequencing it is coming like this way so you are having three options uh, for copy uh, either it would be dark light or decaf and for each type of we are further having second layer of information this one is the second layer of information uh, dark uh, uh, type of uh, copy it may be a small or it may be a small or it may be a small or so the, what are the total possibilities how, how many orders you can perform there in order to get a cup of copy what would be this there are three options in the first layer and second layer two option total six way and those six are approaching leaf so there are six leaf you can observe that so if you go through this path this path that means you order for uh, dark coffee dark roasted coffee in a small cup one leaf you order for dark roasted coffee in a large cup another so likewise six leaves are there so this here you always observe there is a proper sequencing this one is first layer of information then second layer of information proper ordering is there in order to complete the experiment so this experiment is having two sub experiment this one is the overall experiment and it is having two sub experiment so that's why we are saying that a experiment is performed in r number of experiment then uh, we can talk about multiplication now uh, just uh, one more example of uh, multiplication rule that we will call that how to count number of uh, subset in a set with n element so suppose we are having set with uh, n number of element then question is coming that how many distinct subset uh, does a is having okay or does a have so consider a simplest set that we are taking set of natural number of that one is containing number up to n okay so that that one is the set and b any arbitrary subset of a so how in how many way we can construct b 
So this construction is very simple. You can look it like this way. So here, what is happening that you can perform here n number of experiment in order to find all possible subsets. So in experiment one, what you will see that take the first element one and try to see whether one belongs to B or not. Whether you want to keep one in B or not because you are willing to construct subset. So whether you want to clean, uh, put one in B or not. So how many options would be there? just two options in order to perform experiment on that means experiment of keeping one in b or not in b so that would be two options okay likewise you take two and whether if you want to put two in b or not so again there would be two options like again experiment three what take three and whether you want to put three in b or not so again two options and likewise take n and in nth experiment and again you will have a, a two option whether you want to put n in b or not so two options so what we uh, we are trying to collect all this possible subset so each experiment is happening in two way and there is a proper uh, uh, sequencing that means uh, uh, total number of uh, subset it is happening through these n number of sub experiment so that's way what are the possibilities just uh, what are the total number of ways just multiply all these through multiplication rule and you will get that 2 to the power n possibilities are there that means 2 to the power n subset of a may have a is having 2 to the power n subsets so that is the application of uh, multiplication rule okay there is one more interesting application of these two uh, i told that some rule and multiplication rule both are fundamental or basic principle counting later complicated will come okay so the simplest one is here another application of the above two is the principle of inclusion exclusion what does it talk about so that means if, it, if you are having an experiment that uh, consider two dis, uh, disjoint event okay so we are interested to count total occurrence of the outcome uh, from a and b how we can count that we can kind of count that like this way so total number of outcome that one is coming from event a and b it would be what first we have to look how many outcomes are there in a then we have to look how many outcomes are there in b but what is happening in the process of counting num out number of outcome in a and number of outcome in b uh, few outcome might be common in a and b both so both uh, in that case those common outcome might have counted twice so what we have to do we have to subtract those outcome and how we denote that common outcome we denote, denote always by intersection of those event so we have to subtract because those common outcome might be in a also might be in b and might have counted that's why count had been had been counted and common out, uh, outcomes have been counted twice so we have to uh, subtract one uh, at a time okay so that's where we are subtracting so this one we are calling principle of inclusion exclusion first we include the uh, common outcome twice then we exclude so that is the principle of inclusion exclusion uh, exclusion so one question is coming with respect to that uh, regarding principle of counting so a simple question is coming that how many positive integers uh, not bigger than 20 are divisible by either 2 or 6 so what is happening that here uh, definitely uh, 20 would be divisible by many other number as well uh, not only by two and three so event we are defining only two event event one which uh, here number up to 20 and divisible by two event p is number uh, integers up to 20 and divisible by three then what would be uh, a union b that means integer up to 20 and divisible by either two or three and what would be common that means intersection of a intersection a and b it would be integers up to 20 divisible by 2 and 3 2 and 3 so just we are willing to count number of uh, easily we can find number of uh, integers divisible by 2 how we can find uh, just uh, it is, it is uh, this formula is directly coming coming from number theory so just divide uh, by 20 by 2 and take uh, this uh, uh, floor function and what would be that 10 the 10 there are 10 integers up to 20 which are divisible by uh, 2 and likewise 
डिवाइड ट्वेंटी बाई थ्री टेक क्लूर फंक्शन एंड इफ यू सिंप्लीफाई एवरी वन माइट बी अवेयर ऑफ क्लूर फंक्शन वट डज इट ओके इट इज यूर लिस्ट इंटीजर फंक्शन वट वी कॉल इट सॉरी ग्रेट ग्रेटेस्ट इंटीजर फंक्शन एंड इट वुड यू वट सिक्स लाइक वाइज इफ यू आर विलिंग टू फाइंड नंबर ऑफ कॉमन इंटीजर्स नंबर ऑफ इंटीजर्स अप टू ट्वेंटी विच आर डिविजल बाई टू एंड थ्री इन टूगेदर इन कॉमन दैट वुड बी थ्री Easily you can get, and so what will happen, sir? This is question that uh, how many uh, integers up to 20 is divisible by two or three? So that we can get it, uh, it like this way. First sum the number of integers divisible by two, then number of integers divisible by three. Then uh, what is happening that uh, this 10 is also including number of integers divisible by three as well. This is also in, uh, including uh, number of few number of integers, uh, integers up to 20 divisible by. Uh, Uh, two as well, so the, some common thing is there. So that that's why we do exclusion here, exclusion. So 10 plus 6 minus 3, total 13 is the right answer. That that this that means uh, these uh, these number of uh, integers up to 20 would be divisible by either two or three. So that is the principle of uh, uh, inclusion exclusion directly coming from um, that counting. Now. Uh, another uh, these thing would be much more important random sampling here you will see permutation combination and uh, what is happening that uh, when we perform random sampling then definitely we perform random sampling through uh, uniform law we are performing through that means each uh, outcome is equally likely equally likely outcome we simply random we can consider it equally likely but apart from that what is happening there are two important concept would come here what are those two important concept in the process of sampling that means uh, you are having collection of four numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 you can go up to n from here you want to uh, form sam sampling sample Uh, everyone might be clear with sampling or not sample have you gone through random sample in anyone anyone may respond do you know about sample and population am i audible so i just i am asking have you gone through sample and population okay fine so mm, what is happening that uh, someone is saying that uh, uh, you might have, might have, might have already heard a question uh, average height of uh, uh, Indian people is uh, five point something, uh, five point something or something like. That. So, uh, what does it mean? And sometimes you might have heard uh, that uh, average height of Indian people uh, is approximately five point. In this, somebody is saying that average height of Indian people is five point. Uh, Six is five point six. Okay, and some sometimes people are saying average height of Indian people is approximately five point six. What does it mean? There is a one. There is an approximation. Uh, another is there is an uh, um, what uh, exactness. So what is meaning of this one? Have you seen this kind of thing or not? Approximation kind of. yeah so that uh, that one is true so what is uh, happening that when you uh, population means uh, you just uh, deal with every individual outcome every individual member of the uh, 
experiment every uh, that uh, experiment uh, whatever people are involved there whatever uh, object are involved there you are dealing with every member every member when you deal with every member then you are talking about uh, uh, then you will get exact things and that would be population if you deal with if you talk about indian population that simply population population by default it is coming that we can't leave a single person there but what is happening that uh, it is not always proceed to proceed with population uh, because that would, would be a little, uh, little bit very cumbersome job uh, it would be very difficult to uh, count height of every person it is very difficult it will take time it, it would be a time and uh, time taking process then what is the option another option we do sampling and uh, another example is that uh, you might have already seen regarding voting process so what is exit poll and what is uh, opinion poll and uh, what is the actual outcome have you seen or not have you have you seen that in newspaper in news channel or that exit poll opinion poll or exit outcome uh, after the counting of uh, that vote exit outcome is coming so have you seen or not have you seen anyone so what is exit poll or opinion poll uh, so actually basis of those things are simple so when you talk about opinion poll or exit poll uh, that one is the opinion poll it is generally happening uh, before uh, election yeah, before uh, just uh, opinion and there be people people are trying to find opinion of uh, opinion of uh, those voters okay so that one is opinion poll so there we we do perform sampling and when we are performing sampling that means uh, at random we are going uh, to that nearby area and uh, in that process what we do we try to ask uh, few questionnaire from the people and based on that we try to conclude that uh, that person is going to vote uh, uh, that leader or the uh, another leader this leader or another leader that uh, that we say that so here uh, remember that we perform here random sampling so how we perform random sampling we never select place in prior we never say that we will go that area randomly we go so everywhere randomness is coming and we never say that we we will only uh, ask question from uh, part, uh, person from uh, particular party it is not like that we randomly pick a person we randomly pick a place everything is random in nature so that's way so uh, random in nature uh, what is meaning of random in nature in that sense that every place is having equal chance and every person is having equal chance to be asked are you getting meaning of that random simply everyone so every person is having equal chance and every place is having equal chance so that's why uh, here principle uniform principle, principle is coming uniform law is coming and if you do uh, sampling with uh, that uniform law and that we say that it is a random sampling every member is having equal chance like if you have uh, many many a student uh, the all those you have opted this course so uh, when I, i started this course then every a student is have equal probability of getting grade a later things will be complicated have equal probability every pers person will be definitely they will say that definitely i will get grade a I, everyone will say that uh, so grade a uh, that is the situation that equal kind of situation later things would be uh, different okay depends upon actual thing so that's why random sampling is happening here so that is the approach of random sampling so it's just in a statement how we define it so random sampling from a set simply means what uh, we are selecting or choosing a an element at random from this set with equally likely assumption remember that uh, two concept are coming here we are choosing an element from this set and second with what assumption we with assumption equally likely assumption then we will say that random that sample would be random sample or random sampling that process is random sampling and the corresponding uh, uh, thing that we have selected and that would be random sampling that is that process. so two things you remember that you do selection and you do selection based on equally likely assumption 
so that's why uh, it is a random sampling so uh, if you perform random sampling that then, then various scenario will come because equally likely assumption you have already taken so one scenario is coming that sampling what sampling you are doing that sampling may be sampling with replacement you can so this one is a further thing that you want to put it there so it may possible that uh, uh, something from box you have uh, selected again but after selection you saw it again you put back it there, there itself so what will happen in that process uh, there would be no change in the what we call population population size would be fixed there would be no change in the population but uh, uh, just what is happening that uh, we have to count number of ways how it is happening so so the sampling here we, should, we say that sampling with replacement what does it mean uh, what does it mean so in the sampling if you put each object back after each draw or after each selection in this case a single object uh, definitely it can be possibly chosen multiple multiple times that means simply we say that here repetition is allowed sampling with replacement means replacement is uh, it's saying that repetition of uh, uh, while the selection repetition of object is allowed so one example we can say that suppose we are having a uh, collection of object four object and that we are calling it a set a and suppose we are picking uh, three elements with replacement then what is the uh, what is one possible outcome one possible outcome would be a a3 a1 a3 because we have whatever uh, we are picking we just put back that again in that set itself we are it is not like that uh, there is no replacement we are just uh, putting back again so that's where uh, one member may repeat repetition is allowed so that is here a3 has been repeated in this selection a3 has been repeated okay so that is the meaning of repetition another that sampling without re replacement so in this sampling if we don't put each object back after each draw so what will happen the size will shrink so in this case a single object can be possibly chosen only once okay why because repetition is not allowed so another sampling process this one is sampling with replacement then sampling with uh, without replacement then order is coming here so if you are having collection of object then it may be ordered that selection what we do it may be or that sampling what we do it may be sampling may be ordered may be unordered if order matters then if you are having a uh, we have selected three objects a1 a2 a3 and someone has selected uh, a2 a3 a1 these two would be different if order matters then it, these two would be different okay and this we are calling it order sampling if there is no meaning of order then simply we say that uh, that sampling is unordered so based on uh, order and sampling we will have principle of counting further principle of count order and sampling so how many possibilities would be there by uh, taking these two further condition order and sorry replacement how many possible way of counting would be here uh, sampling would be here replacement there are four different kind of sampling would be there so we have to count uh, the number of uh, outcome in those four different kind of sampling so if we are putting two further condition order and replacement so first we will talk about uh, order sam or there is a order with replacement order and replacement both are there order plus uh, simply in short you can say that order plus uh, uh, replacement plus replacement okay so order sampling with replacement what is happening that in a collection of n of suppose we are having a, a, a collection a set of n element so we want to draw a sample of size k so remember that there is next question is coming one is population size this n uh, we are calling it how many uh, elements are there another one is sample size uh, what kind of uh, sample uh, 
sample of what kind of size you want to take it out from the population so that's the size size of sample is mentioned another name of uh, that we can say that simply if you are having a sample of size k then we can also say that k samples so this one is very much essential you have to come up with your idea uh, what is suitable for you this k you have to come up with so uh, we are performing sampling and where we draw a sample of size k such that order is also matter and reputation is also allowed so what what would be the possible number of outcomes or possible possible number of way that in order to perform a draw uh, to sample to sample of size k what would be the number of uh, total number of ways uh, what would be total number of possible outcomes that means you are, you are have at hand you are having an object okay and you are taking k object at a time that is the size of sample then what are the possible and repetition is allowed what is the possible number of ways in which you can uh, perform sampling anyone n p k yeah order is related directly related to permutation i am just agreeing with that that means when we say that a sample of size k just just play with box that means uh, sample of size k that means uh, you can take uh, in one sample you can take only k number of object okay and here it is a there is a meaning of order and also replacement is there so this uh, this first place in in how many way you can fill up this first place how many options are there to come in in this sample uh, to fill up this first place because there this one is first place this one is second place likewise this one is the case place in a sample of size k we are just forming a sample of size k that means we are taking a box having k boxes we are taking k boxes we want to fill up with n number of uh, objects where order is matter and replacement is matter so first is first box can be filled with n number of ways now if you come second box this can be fill up again with n number of ways why because repetition is allowed likewise a third box can be fill up with n number of ways and kth box will be filled with n number of ways so total number of ways in this situation or total number of outcomes or sample um, of size k it would be what n to the power k it would be n to the power k did you get the meaning of that so that we can argue that there are simply k position in the chosen list or selected list for each position there are n option and hence thus there are total uh, number of ways to select a yeah, choose k object from the collection with n element it would be uh, n element that means total number of sample size what it would be total number of sample of size k from n number of uh, uh, objects or population size it would be n to the power k it is coming like this way n to the power k so what we can say uh, we can say that it is just an, a special case of multiplication rule what we say that so come up with the idea of boxes so one example here i have taken here you can say that so suppose very simple example i have, I have taken here so suppose you have taken uh, this one is your population having three only three elements so in the collection of three element you want to draw a sample of size two where you put condition that order is matter and replacement is also allowed that means uh, you are taking a sample of size two if you take a sample it will have only two members at a time two member at a time so what will happens in how many ways uh, this uh, first uh, uh, member of the sample would be selected anyone there would be three a uh, one two or three any uh, any of these three will come either one will come or two will come or three will come so there are three ways likewise here in uh, second place uh, how we can fill up this one again one will come or two will come or three will come so that's where uh, the again there are three options so three cross three nine options are there total possible sam uh, samples would be total possible samples would be what nine 
three to the power three. If someone is willing to visualize those uh, samples, what are those samples? So first sample easily you can say that one one. That means in first place you uh, took one, and second place also you took one. Second would be one two one three. Then two one two 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 three. 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 3. So these are the samples. And how many samples we observe here? We observe nine samples. So th this one is the visualization of selection uh, where we perform selection uh, with order and replacement. Okay. So the uh, this one is again I I would like to say that it is a special case of uh, multiplication principle or mul uh, multiplication rule where we perform mm, two experiment and each experiment is having Two, uh, three possible outcomes. There are two experiment. One experiment that uh, we are selecting for this first position, and another experiment we are selecting for second position. So that is the. So there are the samples. So sample is deciding size of sample is deciding what is the uh, what are the boxes. You have to look for size. What what kind of size you want to proceed with sample. Next is uh, coming uh, order sample, but we are not putting. Replacement. So that's where here this one is permutation. Here we are not mm, 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 putting back the draw drawn object again. So this uh, we are calling it permutation, and uh, we generally we denote it by uh, NPR. That everyone might be aware of that. So, so what is happening that here in uh, ordered sampling without replacement? So in, here we are having a population of size n. That means a collection of n element. From there we want to draw a sample of size k such that order matter, but repetition is not allowed. Okay. Then what we say? Then we can argue that there are k positions. In the selected list or chosen list, and uh, where there are n option for the first, uh, but we don't put back that drawn object. So that's why there would be n minus one option for second position because repetition is not allowed. So that's why. Likewise, that, you know, if uh, we have already filled up uh, up to second place, that means second uh, two object has been taken out from the Box, box of n element, or from the population of n of size n. Okay, then for third position we will have uh, n minus two. That uh, likewise for kth position we will have n minus k minus one. You can put like this way minus n, n minus. But if you simplify, it becomes n minus k plus one. Okay, that. That is the approach. Okay, so that is the approach. So here again, multiplication rule will come in order to uh, find total sample of size k that has been drawn from the collection of n element. Uh, element. Okay, so that that one is coming as uh, n like box. You can put it like box here. Box is a very interesting kind of. Uh, Process to explain these things. So first place uh, we are filling up first position. We are playing with an option. We have to, uh, and in that process, if uh, first one is already fixed, so here either one may come, two may come, three one may come, or n may come. Okay, okay. If there are n number of uh, objects, the once first is filled, we go for second. Uh, then second is having n minus one option. Likewise, uh, kth place. This one is. First place, second place, and this one is the kth place. It will have option n minus k minus one. Or if you simplify, it would be n minus k plus one. This number of option for this kth place. And uh, here, uh, this one is happening in a sequential manner. So that's why we have to, in order to find all possible sample of size k, which is drawn from the population without repetition, it would be just multiplication of n into n minus one up to n minus k plus one. And if you simplify this one, you can write the what is write this one as a ratio of factorial n divided by factorial n minus k. And this term we are calling it, uh, we denote it by uh, p. K n and we are calling it permutation. Permutation, everyone might have already seen that. So here we will take one example. 
so that suppose we are having a population of size 3 i am saying that this one is a population of size 3 or simply you can say that it is a collection of three numbers 1 2 3 and from here we try to sample of size 2 possible number of samples and each sample will have size 2 that means the, we have to fill up two positions first first we will fill up how many options we will have three options and for second we will have two options so total number of samples would be six so what are those samples we can see those sample those sample would be here order is matter so 1 2 1 3 2 1 2 2 3 uh, 3 1 3 2 so these are the sample from this population these are the sample sample uh, this sampling we did it through ordered without replacement so these are the only okay the only samples what we do now further uh, we will do this one is a uh, little bit more easier that uh, when we perform unordered sampling without replacement and that we are calling it combination combination this we are calling it combination so what we do so uh, there is no uh, unordered sampling it unordered sampling without replacement there is no order there is no sampling so in a collection of n object we want to draw a k sample that means a sample of size k such that order is not uh, meaningful there also repetition is not meaningful we are not putting uh, uh, allowing repetition as well okay we are not allowing repetition as well so what would you total number of samples total number of samples or total number of possible outcomes so the typical scenario it would be here that we have a group of n people and we would like to choose k of them to serve a committee that means uh, that means sample size k we want to form a committee that committee will have k members only k members and those k member will be selected from n number of people n number of people so what we do so so here the total number of ways to select k object from the collection of n element or n objects without order and without replacement we say that it n choose k we read it n choose k and it would be uh, ratio of factorial k divided by factorial k uh, into factorial n minus k and generally it would be if you can relate this one with uh, what we call it uh, permutation as well here ratio will come here okay and another notation we can denote it like this way so here binomial coefficient is uh, having one direct uh, application of this one combination so in binomial coefficient we say that the total number of ways to divide an distinct object into two group one group that we are calling it failure another group we are calling it success so two groups a and b such that a consists of k objects so if you if uh, you are having n number of uh, objects and you are forming a sampling of size k without uh, replacement and without order and you are selecting k what does it mean uh, that means from the uh, group of n people if you are forming a group of k people then you are what does at the same time what you do you are leaving just uh, n minus k people you left n minus k people so that's way uh, the group k if it is cons consisting um, it, it is uh, consisting k object then uh, group b it will consist n minus k object and how many sample would be there in b it would be n by n choose k again it would be equal you might be aware of that this formula you may, may have already seen that n choose k is equal to n choose n minus k are you aware of this anyone so it, here it is a binary yeah it is a binomial situation that means if you are selecting from group of n people uh, k at a time you are saying k at a time that one is a combinatorial 
approach but if you are in probability course then better you call it sampling approach so if that means you are selecting a sample of size k without order and without replacement that means you do bifurcation k people are coming here if k people from the group you have selected then that means at the same time you left n minus k people at the same time if you are selecting k people what does it mean at the same time you left n minus k people so that's why from the group of n people uh, it is a binomial in nature if you are selecting k uh, there are two nature uh, that selection of k you will term as a uh, success then those who, who has been left would be failure how many failures would be there n minus k failure if k is success then n minus k is failure so that is the complete uh, uh, what we call it uh, uh, bifurcation or bichotomy what you uh, you can call binomial so all there are various names by by means to everyone might be aware of that so that that's where binomial coefficient is coming this nc n choose k uh, we are calling it also binomial coefficient like uh, if you are taking a, a two real number and you are summing this and and finding the uh, nth exponent of this one or uh, raising the power of this one a plus b to the power n what is the formula of this one what is the formula of this one anyone k varies from 0 to n n n choose k or n c k or n choose k generally n c k this one is the better notation c sometimes uh, people may confuse but uh, this one is the legit legitimate uh, of notation or combination and a to the power k b to the power n minus k This, was, this one is the binomial theorem, generally we call it. So, complete, uh, there is a complete bichotomy, failure and success. There is a failure, there is a success. If k failure is there, then n minus k is uh, success, uh, success. If k is success, k number of success, n minus k failure. So, that is the bichotomy situation, what we call it. Now, next, uh, here I will take uh, example based on this. Suppose again in the, uh, suppose you have a population of size 3, that means there are only 3 members and we want to draw a sample of size 2 where we don't to put order. We are not putting on, on order condition and also we don't uh, repeat it. Repetition is also not allowed. So what would be total number of samples? So simply uh, the meaning of this one would be uh, there is a typical scenario that here we have a group of 3 members three numbers and we would like, like to choose two or two of them to form a sample okay that's the total number of ways to choose two objects from the collection with three element uh, that means uh, sample of size uh, how many samples of size two we can find it would be it would be three uh, choose two and if you simplify the value would be three and what are those those would be one two one three two three okay these are the possible samples of size 2 without replacement and without order okay so in uh, do we have time yeah few minutes so here we will talk about multinomial multinomial coefficient and it is very much essential that the binomial situation i have already told that so by got me that binomial means by word by means two mm, there, there are only two situations failure or and success so that's why binomial thing is coming and when you were uh, it is very interesting to see that uh, you had already seen that you if you are selecting k uh, object from a population of a size n then that means at the same time uh, during the process of selecting k you are also doing what you are rejecting n minus k so that's where there are two things happening when you select k from uh, object now multinomial is that the situation is different so, okay so the com <laughs> the combination argument can be generalized to divide the group of here uh, n people into a distinct group of sizes n1 n2 n3 up to nr such that we will say that n1 plus n2 plus up to nr it would be equal to n in in what way we so the process is like this way 
we did not multi multinomial like this way okay? so n among the n uh, n1 is coming with respect to first group n2 is coming with respect to second group nr is coming with respect to rth group there are r group there are r group like we are saying it like this way uh, another we can say like this way uh, generally if you go in uh, uh, any coin coin always and by if you take unbiased coin unbiased coin then what will happen there would be more than two options what is meaning of unbiased coin no no not more than two options unbiased coin simply we say that uh, uh, the probability of getting head or probability of getting tail it would be uh, not equal to 0.5 something uh, deviated from 0.5 that one is unbiased coin now uh, go for another situation like multinomial situation if you take coin always you will see binomial situation always always there would be binomial situation but if you take uh, uh, another kind of thing that uh, uh, like if you play uh, you, everyone might be aware of uh, test cricket what are the possible result with respect to a single match regarding test match yes so there would be three option now with respect to each match there would be three option either there would be draw in that experiment we will get a result of that would be draw or and there would be loss one team be lose or win one thing so three possibilities are there so here simply each experiment is involving more than two possibilities each experiment each trial is involving more than uh, three possibilities so it is uh, coming in binomial uh, multinomial situation it is here multinomial simply we are saying that it is not like that uh, 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 someone is saying that oh uh, this uh, team is uh, uh, what uh, uh, this team uh, this match is having a draw result then simply uh, it is not like that uh, you will conclude that it uh, uh, draw simply uh, what uh, it not uh, giving idea of uh, lose and win If you will have uh, one day match, what are the possibility in one day match? One day cricket match. How many possibility you observe in 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 today's uh, uh, one day cricket match? How many possibilities are there? Anyone? Two. I think uh, here in this uh, uh, in our country, everyone might be aware of cricket logic. So there would be three possibility again. And there would be tie option. Win, lose, and tie option. What about cricket? Anyone? No, 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 T20, T20 cricket. How? So this one is regarding test. How many options you observe? What are two? What are those? Why there is no tie? Yeah, very nice. So in T20, it is a binomial situation, simplest situation. Always we are having two options, T20. But if you go for taste or if you go for one day, there would be uh, more than two. So that's why it is coming in multinomial situation. These are the practical situation, what we are, I'm calling it. So, and hence the binomial theorem here, we are, uh, here binomial theorem will work fine. So we need, uh, there would be definitely, if there are in a single experiment, there are more than two outcomes. In a single experiment, there are more than two possible outcomes. Then we have to generalize binomial theorem to multinomial theorem how we generalizing we generalizing like this way so uh, we are taking uh, here because there are more than two outcomes so that's where we are we are taking more than two terms 
r number of terms we are taking it and uh, we are trying to find the power of uh, exponent of uh, sum of this one and if you simplify it is coming like this way then this term we are calling it multinomial term multinomial term so uh, one example i would like to take it here uh, i roll a dice 18 times what is the protein that each appears exactly three times directly so you have to smartly find what is the property that here uh, what is the uh, how many times we are rolling a die 18 times if you talk about a single roll of a dice how many outcome you observe six outcome in a single roll of a dice but in a 18 roll of a dice uh, 18 times you if you are rolling a dice then you will observe how many outcome 16 times 118 and here simply a uh, question is coming like uh, come, what is the a uh, event here we are defining that uh, we have to find the first we have to count the uh, number that appears exactly three times each number appears three times 